Here's what the Twin Cities is buzzing about. Well, if you need something to do this weekend, why not support a local artist and find something creative for your home? Yeah, after the break, we're joined by a local artist who uses discarded wood to create something beautiful. He's going to show off some of his pieces and talk about tomorrow's Scott County Art Crawl next. Well, local artists are all around us this, this, this upcoming weekend. They're going to be showing off their handcrafted items tomorrow, as a matter of fact, as part of the Scott County Art Crawl in several southwest metro cities. And one of them is Patrick Plouts, owner of Minnesota Valley Cabot Cabinets in Savage. He joins us now to show off some of his art and his work cre created using discarded wood. Good morning. Welcome. Hi. Welcome to our show. Nice to be here. Thank All you. All right, I'm going to guess you haven't always used used discarded wood. How'd no. you get How'd you get involved in this? How'd you get started? Oh, well, I grew up in Wisconsin, and uh, my family's all been kind of woodworkers and artists. My uncle was an artist and woodworker, and I built my mother a uh, china cabinet when I was 16. It just happened to be one of those things I was good at, I guess. Mm -hmm. so, so that's how I started, and kind of went over the years. We do cabinets, and sort of migrated to this sort of thing. We still do cabinet, regular cabinets too, but. Uh, I just have fun with it. It's I pick out all these kind of weird pieces. Uh, someone said uh, I have a lot of unattractive wood in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> but did you just see it laying around and say, "Hey, I'm gonna make a cool table out of that"? And that's kind of the way it goes, or... believe it or not. Yeah? I, I look for the 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 weaklings, I guess you might call it. And um, I have one table that's actually in a gallery down there that's called a five-year table because I walked past this one particular board five years before I figured out, oh, there, I want to do that with it. Hmm. Well, I was go ahead. I'm just going to ask that. I mean, when you see a piece of wood, do you pick a piece of wood and say, I like this wood, I'll figure out something to do with it, or do you see a piece of wood and say, hey, that'll make a great blank? No, nope, it's the first one. Yeah. I, I buy, I got a collection of all kinds of pieces of wood that I have no idea what I'm going to do with. And, and then, I, then I go on from stuff. there. Yeah, let's take a look. What are we looking at there? That's a music stand. I uh, built that for my cousin, actually, for a wedding present. That's either a horse or a or an elk. The front part. The front part of it is a piece of uh, juniper that uh, I got off a truck that a guy had parked in front of a taxidermist's office, huh. and it had a, just a weird look to it. And I thought, well, it's kind of interesting. So I, that's, that's how neat. I put that together. That's a bedside table. Um, again, I like I like moving things around. Uh -huh. I like using a lot of different wood. I do. I don't think hardly any of my pieces have only one wood in it. And this one, you know, we have to point it out because it's got turquoise in it. I thought, wow, that's different. That's very. I've cool. been doing a lot of that yeah. lately. Um, I don't know if we have time, but a quick interesting story. A lady came to me at Loring Park last year, and her husband had recently died. He was a rock guy. She had a piece of wood similar to this. She said that she always wanted to do a rock inlay into it. So I went to her house, got the piece of wood. He had about a hundred trays of all kinds of yeah. rocks like this, and I got into the turquoise, and I use it quite a bit now. Yeah, it's beautiful. Now, and real quick, before we go, uh, we got to hit this, because obviously folks can find these things right. and a lot of other right. cool and exciting things. Scott County Art Crawl tomorrow. What's happening amongst that? Oh, there's all kinds of uh, artists. Uh, and there really is, I think, four different locations, or five, actually five different mm -hmm. cities, uh, anywhere from watercolors to oil painters to woodworkers to glass blowers the whole deal uh, you got to buy a map or not buy a map I'm sorry yeah, there's yeah, map there's yeah, maps available sure, right. of uh, you just follow your follow your muse and that sounds good we'll say I like that that makes it fun that'd be a fun Saturday wouldn't it yeah, yeah. yeah. that would be fun. good and thank you very much Patrick for joining You're us welcome. this morning thanks for having me yeah. it's great uh, the Scott County Art Crawl is happening it's from 9 to 5 and that is tomorrow and for more information on the artists and the locations and to find that map all you got to do is log on to Scott County Art Crawl dot org. Thanks again, Patrick.